It was my film score. BBC Children's programmes were deeply respected. If it had been on any other channel, it would not have had the same power. The BBC has helped to define who we are. It's helped to define our identity. One was able to do what I'm committed to do, which is to make films about real people and real people's lives. You might say iconic is a bit of an overused one, but the BBC Marconi Type A literally is an icon. The basis of the symbol on most computers worldwide. This, this is BBC, BBC News. World I'm News. I'm Cash and our main stories. The, headlines the race four. to replace Britain's leader Liz Truss officially opens. The governing Conservative Party, party seeks yet another running to become Prime Minister. Tory leader and the next In the last few minutes, Penny Mordaunt has become the first Tory Monday MP to, gather the to declare that she MPs. is in the running. The Defence Secretary in Italy, Giorgia Meloni is poised to become the country's next leader. The Tory Party has settled down and get on with delivering its mandate that it was elected on in 2019 with the vast majority, which is to govern. We are expecting to hear from Ms. Maloney shortly. The question also remains as Ukraine to whether Boris Johnson could attempt to return to Downing a hydro Street. Electric speculation dam in the city rife. of Person. Meanwhile, parties of opposition in England, Scotland and Wales have called for an immediate general election. The UK Chancellor promises to do anything necessary to protect the economy, with government borrowing up and people shopping less. A warning the health and social care system in England is Hello, gridlocked and, and unable to, to cope with the demand, News. putting the race is on for the top job risk. in British politics after Liz Truss announced that her resignation was on Thursday as Prime Minister. Now, Liz Truss became the shortest serving British Prime Minister after conceding that she couldn't deliver on the mandate that put her in office. The new leader of the Conservative Party is expected to be declared within a week, and in just the last few minutes, Penny Mordaunt has become the first candidate to Welcome officially to launch BBC her News, bid. Let's live cross over live from to Westminster, Westminster and join Martin Croxall. Senior Conservatives hoping to become Prime Minister have begun seeking support from their fellow Tory MPs. They need to gain the backing of at least 100 colleagues in order to stand in the leadership race. Liz Truss resigned yesterday. There remains in Downing Street until the successor is appointed. Speaking outside number 10, Liz Truss said that she could not deliver the mandate on which she was elected. There will now be a fast-track leadership election to decide who will be the new leader of the Conservative Party and ultimately Prime Minister. Well, in the last hour, Penny Mordaunt launched her bid to replace Liz Truss, becoming the first MP to announce that they're running. Rishi Sunak is also widely regarded as a contender and backers of Boris Johnson are urging him to stand. So let's take a look at how the contest will work. Conservative MPs have until early afternoon on Monday to nominate their preferred candidate. Each candidate needs at least 100 nominations. If only one candidate achieves that, they will be declared Prime Minister on Monday afternoon. If more than one candidate gets at least 100 nominations, then there will be a vote by Conservative MPs. Depending on the result of that, the final decision could be made by Tory party members voting online. But one thing we know for sure is the latest date for the next Prime Minister to be announced will be next Friday. Well, Penny Morden came third in the last contest over the summer, securing strong support from her fellow MPs, but just missing out on making it to the final two. Our political correspondent Damien Grammaticus has the latest developments. First mover uh, in the race now to be uh, Conservative leader. So Penny Mordaunt uh, saying on Twitter that she has, uh, she said, been encouraged by support from her colleagues 